Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Mm. We are going to do a little special lesson yes. for the end of the year, right? That's right. This because... is our last Doga of the year, mm -hmm. the school year. Yes, yeah, school year. And next week, we'll start the new school year. That's right. New right. classes, new right. classmates. So remember, you will have a different class, maybe different day. Right. So please make sure, okay? Right. Check your schedule, okay? Right. So what we're going to do tonight is I'd like to read a picture book for you yes, yes. and then Emmy Sensei and I are going to ask you some questions yes. at the end. Mm -hmm. So please pay attention, okay? So we'll do the picture book up here on the TV. Mm -hmm. Emmy Sensei, could you please turn sure. off the lights? Yes, yes. That would be awesome, okay? While she's turning off the lights, I'll turn on our TV and I'll be reading this for you and I hope you enjoy it, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready, Emmy Sensei. Thank you. Wow, it got dark. All right, let's start, shall we? The title of this picture book is Hermie and the Animal's Mixed Up Ears by Jeffrey Gaughan, illustrated by Katherine Kratschmer. Hermie and the Animal's Mixed Up Ears. Look, Omura. A long time ago, in case you forgot, animals could talk, and would talk, and did talk, a lot. They all lived together, and I don't mean in zoos. They lived in big houses. They liked to wear shoes. They worked and they played. Some drove, but most walked. But whatever they did, they always talked. They talked about TV, fashion, and sports while eating spaghetti or shopping for shorts. They talked to each other, to strangers and friends. They often asked questions, who, what, where, and when. But they never took time to answer, I fear. They all just kept talking, not using their ears. The walrus would whisper, but the yak yacked all day. The giraffe often laughed and had plenty to say. Cats tried to make speeches, but dogs called them names. The goldfish would giggle as they played go fish games. The birds would all sing, but the crabs always grumbled. The clams smiled a lot, but when they talked, they mumbled. The mice all spoke softly, as mice often do. But when they all got together, the place was a zoo. Yes, all animals talked, and I know that sounds nice, but they all talked at once, and sometimes said things twice. And none of them listened to what others would say. They just kept on talking all night and all day. Wow. Schools of young fish would ignore the teacher. Pews full of penguins talked over the preacher. The puppies were always noisily yapping. The monkeys all chatted, even when napping. Now, all of this talking and gossiping gab finally woke up old Hermie, the old hermit crab. See, Hermie liked silence and being alone. Why, that crab did not even have a shell phone. But what Hermie did have was powders and potions. He sometimes cast spells when he took the notion. They talk but don't listen. Enough is enough is what Hermie growled in his voice deep and gruff. I'll teach them a lesson, he grouched to himself. Then he took down a spell book he kept on his shelf. Just wait till tomorrow, he chuckled with glee. Then they'll stop talking and listen to me. Uh-oh, I think Hermie's angry. And he worked on a spell late into the night. He mixed magic powders until they were right. Then he started singing and chanting these words, but no one was listening, so nobody heard. 
Ears any color, yes, ears big and small. Round ears and sharp ears, this spell is for all. Long, short, or fuzzy, floppy ears too. Tonight, while they're sleeping, the old switcheroo. And in the morning, the animals woke up and found that while they were sleeping, all their ears were switched round. The elephant's big ears were gone from his head. Now they were long, white, and furry instead. The dog's floppy ears were now missing too. Oh no, she had pig ears sticky with goo. The snake never had ears, at least none to see, but now he had striped ears, and not two, but three. Every animal's ears were completely mixed up. Every lion and monkey, each kitten and pup. Help me! What's happened? What can we do? I can't find my ears. Oh no, not you too. Yelling, complaining, talking and crying. What a huge mess and still none of them trying to listen. Through the grumbling and whining, the wailing and such, came that old hermit crab that never talked much. When Hermie crawled up without making a sound, all the mixed up eared animals gathered around to listen. Then after a moment from deep in his shell, Hermie started to speak and they all listened well. Can you hear me now? That cranky crab grumbled. The giraffe didn't laugh. The clams never mumbled. The schools full of fish were all listening too. So were the penguins from their hard wooden pew. The mice were all quiet. The yak had stopped yakking. The puppies had stopped their constant yap yapping. My magic did this, they all heard Hermie say. Use those mixed up ears now or mixed up they will stay. All the animals stood there silent with shock and they all listened well to that crab on the rock. When you talk but don't listen to what's being said, then you don't even need those ears stuck on your head. I want peace and quiet. Today was a warning. This time, I'll switch all your ears back by morning. But a spell I've cast once can be cast again. And if you say one word, I'll be listening in. So the next time you wake up and can't find your ears, you'll know that I heard you and made them disappear. And with these words said, Hermie slowly crawled off. The animals were silent, not a whisper or cough. Not long after that, they just moved away. If they lived together, they might talk someday. They left all their cars, their shoes, and their shorts. They gave up their TVs and stopped watching sports. Some went to the jungle, a few moved to parks. Some came out, I'm sorry, most came out in daylight. Some waited for dark. But alone or together, they said not a word. Wherever they went, only silence was heard. Now, few can remember that mixed up ears day. Is Hermie still listening? Nobody can say. So they just bark or they grunt, they squeal, or they squeak. They might imitate you whenever you speak. The parrot now talks after so many years, but old Hermie was listening. Ever seen parrot ears? Gone. So if you look down at your best friend today, and he's looking back like there's something to say. 
when you're playing together or taking a walk. Oh, it would be great if your pet could just talk. And sometimes he looks like he gives you a wink. He seems so darn smart that he could talk, you think. But he can't take the chance. What if old Hermie hears? And your pet would look silly if he lost his ears. So your friend will just listen, but he can speak, it's true. Sometimes late at night, he whispers, I love you. The end. That was Hermie and the animals mixed up ears, written by a very young Jess Sensei. All right, everybody, we'd like to ask you a few questions. We'll be turning the pages. Mm -hmm. And Emmy Sensei, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Did you enjoy the story? I hope you liked it. Now, this is our main character, and his name is Hermie. Mm -hmm. Emmy Sensei, do you know what Hermie is? Yes, I do know. This is Hermit Crab. Yes, he's a hermit crab. How do you say that in Japanese? In Japanese, it's Yadokari. Yeah, we say hermit crab. Mm -hmm. Great. A lot of animals in this book, Emmy Sensei. Many animals. Sure. Anybody, can you tell me what color that car is in this picture? I think they know. Sure. It's red. Yep, and a monkey's driving it and talking on his smartphone. Wow. Please don't do that, okay? They're just like people. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Again, I see a lot of animals. Do you see stage. what the pigs are eating, Emmy Sensei? Yeah, I know. They are eating spaghetti. They are eating spaghetti. I guess pigs will eat just about anything. Mm -hmm. Now in this picture, some of the animals are loud and some are quiet. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which animal would whisper, Emi Sensei? Ah, uh, the fish? Oh no, they giggled. <laughs> That's true. The walrus would All whisper, right. yeah. He was very quiet. He's in the library, you see. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these animals would speak softly and some grumbled, which means they're kind of grumpy. Oh, look at these birds. Yeah, a lot of birds in the tree. Yeah. What do the birds do, Emmy? They can sing. They can sing. Yes. Good job. Wow, it's like a zoo here. All the animals are doing their thing. But it's not a zoo, right? No, it's not really a zoo. No, they're just all having fun. Mm -hmm. Now here we see four different pictures. Mm -hmm. And in this picture, do you know what we call a group of fish, Emmy sensei Yeah. We don't say group of fish. What do we say? School of fish. Exactly. Yeah. So it says schools of young fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we have many fish together, that's called a school, school of fish. fish. Uh oh. This is Hermes' house. This is his shell, right? Wow. Hermit crabs live in a shell. You can see it's kind of small because look, do you know what that is? That's a bottle cap. Wow. Yeah. It means the sizes compare with this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. So. You can see he doesn't like any noise. Over here he's got a sign that says, no phones. Right. Oh, but Hermie can do a little magic. This is really? his room for doing magic. These are his spell books for making magic spells. Okay. What is it doing now? Well, right here he's casting his spell, right? You can oh. see this kind of magic smoke coming from the it's pot. Magic. Yep, it is wow. magic, and he's going to make all the animals' ears change around. Okay, but I think it's pretty color. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? But there it goes. The smoke is going through the town and all the wow. houses. And look what happened. I mean, what kind of ears does the elephant have now? What do you think? Uh, They're they long, are white, like... and furry. They are like rabbit's exactly. ears. Exactly, they look like rabbit's ears, and that's yeah. kind of silly, uh, isn't it? And I can tell, look. Yeah, look, there's these... still a little piece of spaghetti there. Yeah, so these are the pig's ears. Yep, she had pig's ears right. sticky with goo. Well, how many ears does the snake have? Wow, can you count everybody? 
One, two, three. three. Oh, now, no. what animal do you think those ears should be on, Emmy Sensei? Um, I think. Well. Black and white stripes. I think that's a big zebra? hint. Probably a zebra, okay. right? <laughs> Oh no, all the animals are very upset. Their mm. ears are completely mixed up. And here comes Hermie. Look, even the birds have ears now. Wow. That's weird. This is a big problem. It is. But mm. now they all want to listen to Hermie. What is Finally. Hermie? Yeah, what is he standing on, Emmy Sensei? Uh, Hermie? Yeah. Oh, here. He is standing on the rock. He's on the rock. Have you noticed he often has his little shellfish, uh, sorry, his starfish friend with him? Okay. That's yeah. not a shellfish. Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> now everybody's listening carefully. Look at their mixed up ears. Oh but no, it's really weird. Do you think Hermes really happy in this picture, Emmy Sensei? I don't think so. No, he's talking like this. And oh, he says, yeah. I want peace and quiet. So I think he's Pretty angry. angry. Yes. Now Hermie tells them they all have to be quiet, and now mm. they are finally quiet. They're just walking away. Like, look at Mama saying, "Shh." Oh yeah, they are so quiet. Well, oh, no, what's going on here? Well, they gave up living together because it, you know when they're together they talk and talk and right? talk. So they just left everything. And they went back to nature, Decided right? Decided to change yep. the style of their life. Yep, so some are in jungles, some are in parks. Oh. And now they're making their natural sounds. Okay. Because dogs bark. Right. And bears grunt. Oh. And pigs squeal. Mm -hmm. And mice squeak. squeak. But did you see which animal still is talking, Emmy sensei I know. Parrot. The parrot, yeah, parrots yes. can talk like probably wants a cracker, something like that, right? Yeah, so also he's talking. In too. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's not going to eat you, right? Something like that. But see, Hermie was still listening because the parrot's ears. Look here, he has ears, and he's talking. Oh, that's why. Yep, he kept talking, and Hermie that's... told them no oh. talking. So that's why parrots don't have ears. Now you know. Really? Mm. So here are some popular pets, cats and dogs. Do you have a cat and dog, everybody? Or do you have a bird, maybe, or a turtle or a fish? Mm. I like pets. And they are great friends. Mm -hmm. And they are wonderful listeners. Right. And as we can see, this boy's sound asleep. And his dog whispered very quietly to him, I love you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that final question, Emmy Sensei. Oh, who is it, everybody? <laughs> who is it? That did is you? Me. No, wait, wait. Did you say Jeff Sensei? No, you're wrong because this is young Jeff Sensei. That's true. That was <laughs> young Jeff Sensei, and now I guess I'm just not so young Jeff <laughs> Sensei, right? All right. Everybody, we hope you enjoyed that. We hope mm. you had a good time. We had a good time with you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next lesson, Doga. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you. See you.